The Dallas Cowboys, ever since the end of the Tony Romo era, have played one style of offense and one style of offense only. That has been ground and pound. Run the football, let the offensive line dictate the pace of play, dictate the defense, and work off of the running game, work off of the offensive line. And to be quite honest, when it comes to the passing game, the Dallas Cowboys have not been very creative. They have not been very innovative for seasons, maybe even a decade. Tony Romo in his prime was able to get away with things because he was physically a great quarterback. They had very good receivers. And really, the passing scheme has never been anything special for the Dallas Cowboys for a very, very long time. But when we talk about the Dallas Cowboys in 2019, something special is happening. Something different is happening. Jerry Jones, Jason Garrett, they're actually going in a different direction when it comes to offensive football. And this makes me very excited for the Dallas Cowboys, Dallas Cowboy fans, and Dallas Cowboy football in 2019. I'm actually going to be really excited to watch them play because their offense is heading in a new direction. Kellen Moore is going to be their offensive coordinator in 2019. Kellen Moore. I think Kellen Moore is actually going to elevate the level of the Dallas Cowboys in 2019. And he is going to bring a style of football offensively that we haven't seen in a very long time from the Dallas Cowboys. Gronk spike the like button. Subscribe to the bottom line view for more NFL videos just like this. If you enjoy, comment below your opinion on what you think of Kellen Moore. Do you think this guy's going to be a brilliant offensive play caller? Do you think this is a great new direction for the Dallas Cowboys and their offense? Or do you hate it? Do you think this is too much too soon for Kellen Moore? Do you really like the direction the Cowboys were headed in? Let me know in the comment section below. Before we get into what's going to happen with the Dallas Cowboys offense in 2019, we kind of have to know what is Kellen Moore? What does he bring to the table? Kellen Moore is a player, a person, a coordinator, a coach that comes from a football family. His dad was a high school football coach who raised Kellen Moore to be a very intelligent football mind. His brother, Kirby, is a coach at Fresno State. So basically, you can say that this entire family lives, breathes football. They are all about football. And ever since a young age, even, Kellen Moore has been a very intellectual mind, a very intelligent, next level type of thinker in terms of football. He even called his own plays in high school. And in college football, he had a historic career because he was able to think the game. Now, in the NFL, he wasn't able to succeed the way he would have liked, possibly, just because he didn't have the physical talent. But when it comes to being a coordinator, I think Kellen Moore is going to be creative, and I don't think he's going to be afraid of doing so in the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott, and Dak Prescott. The reason I love this direction for the Dallas Cowboys so much with Kellen Moore is because, really, let's take a look at what the Dallas Cowboys were as a football team in 2018. They had an excellent defense, one of the best in football, and many games last season were won because of their defense. It wasn't won because of their explosive, innovative, creative offense. Their offense was actually lackluster. It was below average in 2018, 22nd in points. 22nd in yards. They were 23rd in passing, and really the strength of their offense is their running game, and it only ranked 10th overall in yardage. So that being said, this offense needed to change, not only from a statistical standpoint, but just when you watch the Cowboys, it seemed like something was missing. It really didn't seem like Scott Linehan and his offense and his scheme was helping out the talent. And we saw the talent be able to do things that was extraordinary over the stretch of a season. We saw Dak Prescott escape and scramble and make plays with his legs. We saw Ezekiel Elliott break tackles and break long runs. And we saw once Amari Cooper came on board, the passing game was revitalized, not because of the scheme, but because of the talent. Now, when you couple the talent with the scheme, that's when we're talking about a very good offense and then ultimately an offense that can complement a very good defense, which I believe the Dallas Cowboys already have. Jason Garrett 
has been quoted as saying that this is going to be a collaborative effort when it comes to the offense. I'm not exactly sure what that means, whether that means there's going to be multiple coaches like Jason Garrett will be helping the offense along with Kellen Moore or other coaches as well, or if that means they're going to be more balanced in terms of their passing, their running. I don't really know what that means, but Jason Garrett seems to be really into finding a new direction for this offense, and that's the thing I really want to get across because that's the biggest thing that has held back the Cowboys, I would say, the past two seasons. Now, what is this new direction for the Dallas Cowboys offense? Well, the mention of them having more of a focus more of a centered attack and game plan towards the deep passing game is something that I think is the most exciting because when you have such a running game like the Cowboys do, you have Ezekiel Elliott who's a threat on every play from the backfield, you couple that with a deep passing attack, possibly some more play action, which I think is something that's steadily taking over the NFL. You see the best offenses in football not only attack defenses deep down the field, like the Chiefs, the Rams, the Patriots, but you also see them, they're very reliant on play action. The best offenses use play action a lot and they use it very well. So if Kellen Moore is going to be successful in 2019, He's going to have to come up with some creative downfield passing plays and some play action to work off that running game. Now, I don't want to get away from the fact that the Cowboys are still going to be a heavy running team. This is Ezekiel Elliott's offense. As much as some people may like Dak Prescott or Amari Cooper or their offensive line in terms of pass blocking, this team, as long as Ezekiel Elliott is on their football team, is going to be a run first team and the running game is going to dictate the passing game. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. As we saw last season, the two teams in the Super Bowl were able to be run football, run first teams. Even the Patriots with Tom Brady, who's the GOAT, They were a run-first offense even down the stretch and winning that Super Bowl. Sony Michelle went off in the playoffs. They were a run-first and a different. They changed the way that they attacked in 2019. And it really seems like because defenses are playing more sub-packages, there's lighter players on the field, creative offenses like the Patriots are starting to go go towards a little bit more of a run-heavy attack with multiple formation sets. And that's also something that Kellen Moore is going to bring to this offense. I think just more formation variation, a little bit more creativity in terms of using his personnel to their best ability, whether that's two tight ends and Witten and Jarwin a little bit more often using a fullback, which is something that's essential to great offenses as well. Now the Chiefs don't use a fullback as much as some offenses, but the Patriots use it very well. Kyle Shanahan has always used it very well. And the fullback is something that has kind of been a lost art in the NFL, but is sort of like 90s fashion coming back into the fold a little bit. As well, we look at an offense like the LA Rams and Sean McVay that utilizes a lot of motion, a lot of fake jet sweeps, a lot of kind of misdirection with Todd Gurley, their wide receivers, Robert Woods, Brandon Cooks. That's something that's been very successful, even though the Rams run basically all of their plays out of one personnel set. Now, when you combine multiple personnel sets with a lot of misdirection, a lot of diagnosing a defense and tricking a defense into seeing one thing and doing another thing, so to speak. So if you can couple those things together, which I think Kellen Moore is going to bring to this offense because he did a lot of that at the college level and has a lot of experience with that, that is where you can be creative. That's where you can be innovative in coupling things that you've already done well with a run heavy approach, along with some of the new trends of the NFL, utilizing a lot of jet motion, a lot of different things that Sean McVay, Andy Reid, Sean Payton, these guys are doing very, very well. Now, another thing that I think is just going to help the Cowboys in general is that I think there's going to be a lot more creative passing. As Kellen Moore is a quarterback, he understands spread systems very well and a little bit the air raid, which is something that Cliff Kingsbury of the Cardinals is bringing to the NFL a little bit more prominently. I think he's going to understand better passing attacks, understanding how to get wide receivers open a little bit better. Something that I really appreciate about my team's offense, the Patriots, is how they utilize wide receiver motion. And that's something that was heavily utilized at the college level when Kellen Moore played 
type, which I think he'll bring to the Cowboys attack a little bit more. It helps receivers against man coverage. It helps receivers create separation. And it helps receivers get into better situations to win their matchups. But at the same time, it also helps a quarterback like Dak Prescott, who let's be honest, he's not a Tom Brady or a Drew Brees when it comes to diagnosing defenses. It helps him dictate, okay, my matchup, my one-on-one, but also dictating what type of coverage it is at a certain play at a certain time. So I think Kellen Moore can bring that as well to an offense in 2019 in the Cowboys that I think is going to be From a passing standpoint, a lot different, a lot more innovative, and I think a lot better. Now, transitioning into the Dallas Cowboys talent itself and their offense and taking a look at why I think Kellen Moore is going to help these players and how he's going to help these players. Dak Prescott, I already mentioned that he's probably going to help Dak Prescott in terms of his reads, in terms of understanding defenses, understanding the the coverages and being able to make checks and motions to get players open and have more readily available open receivers, which helps a wire, helps a quarterback immensely. Then you go to Ezekiel Elliott, which the deep passing attack, the stress of the deep passing attack is going to help him as well. There was one quote by Sean Lee that actually said that the defense in minicamp was already tricked by some of the calls and some of the runs that the Cowboys ran. So some more creative running sets, some more creative formations that they can run out of will also help Ezekiel Elliott. I wouldn't also be surprised if Kellen Moore has Zeke really involved as a receiver a little bit more in some of the screen game and as a receiver in general, maybe splitting him out a little bit more to dictate what the defense is going to do in a similar way that the Patriots utilize James White or James Devlin in that role as well to mess with formations of the defenses. Then you look at Amari Cooper, who had a great season when he came on to the Cowboys and he only really ran like three or four routes, but Amari Cooper is a really, really good route runner. And I think when you have a a coordinator that understands how to get wide receivers open and you have a great route runner that only helps complement each other. And I think by Dak having Amari Cooper there for a full season, this offense is going to be so much better just from that. You also have the fact that, you know, the passing game, the deep passing game, Amari Cooper can do that for Zeke. So that's also a very nice addition to this offense. The offensive line, I think it's going to be a lot better just simply by adding back Travis Frederick. So you have Travis Frederick, Tyron Smith, Connor Williams, Zach Martin, Lael Collins. This is one of the elite offensive lines in football if they're all healthy, if they're all playing, and they're all playing as a unit. Now, the offensive line, I think, is going to be helped with some of the, the, the motions, the trickery as well in just having a defensive line and some of the pass rushers on their toes because they're going to have to defend so much more. Back to Dak Prescott for a second. This also helps an offensive line when you're utilizing more zone reads, more read options, and you're utilizing a quarterback in the running game because it helps an offensive line basically with the timing of pass rushers and throwing them off and not being so damn predictable in tendencies that the Cowboys especially were in 2018. The secondary weapons, Michael Gallup, his speed is going to be well utilized in this deep passing attack. Randall Cobb is the slot receiver that I'm sure they'll line up in a different way every single game. You look at Tavon Austin, who who I think could see a huge jump in terms of where he plays and what he does this year in terms of a gadget weapon with a young creative mind in Kellen Moore. And then Jason Witten and Blake Jarwin, I think are going to be a bigger part of this offense than a lot of people expect, especially in the running game where they're going to be a big deal in terms of pass blocking, especially if they want to get that play action game going. Kellen Moore, the Dallas Cowboys, they fascinate me going into 2019, and I'm really excited to see where this offense goes, how they play, what they do, and don't get me wrong, the fundamentals will stay with the Cowboys. What they have done for the past few years that have been successful, whether it was the 2014 season, the 2016 season, or this recent season, the core of running the football and working off of that and playing through your offensive line That is what the Cowboys are going to be. But it's the extra little things that Kellen Moore can bring to this offense, helping Dak Prescott, the wide receivers, elevating the passing game that I'm so excited about going into 2019. Gronk spike the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's Mitch of the Bottom Line View. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below and we'll see you next video. Peace out.